guys welcome to ending calls productions and um, today basically what I'll be showing you is how to basically turn your Android smartphone and in this case my Samsung Galaxy S2 here um, into basically a, a CCTV camera or basically a spy camera or anything like whatever you want to call it now um, before I get started there are two things that I want to tell you guys the first being the one this does not stream this is not record videos but instead what this does is it streams live video to uh, basically a computer or another android device or blackberry or any other such device um, also um, you do not need to install any root or kernel or any other rom for this method uh, what i'll be showing you all you need to do is install an application called ip webcam so let me just go ahead and start off so open the play store or if you can't find it i'll leave a link down in the description below to make it easier for you guys um, and go ahead and search for an app called ip webcam for me it's there in the history but for you it shouldn't be there so type it up and search for it and this is the app you're looking for and this is how the icon looks like so just and go ahead and install it accept and download and it's about one one MB, so it's not much. It's done already. Okay, so it's done. So go ahead and open it, and this is what you'll see when you first uh, turn it on. Um, and basically, what it what the options it gives you are to set the resolution you want to stream the video in, and I usually set it to 480 by 800, which is basically the highest. Um, now it also allows you to change the quality of the video now um, this is very experimental uh, and it differs from phone to phone because mainly because increasing the quality of the video usually tends to l slow down the video quality video frames per second or FPS um, so if you increase say the quality to 100 um, basically your uh, fra frame rate might go down so you just want to try out which works best for you and use that um, I usually set it to about 60 to 75 although it works fine even if I set it to 100 but for the video I'll just set it to maybe um, 70 okay um, now the orientation there is usually landscape you can set it to portrait if you want um, it gives you an option to select the front facing camera if you want uh, if your phone has a front facing camera which in my case it does I can also use a front facing camera to stream the video but I usually tend to stick to the main 8 megapixel camera on this one um, now you can also set the f uh, the frame rate uh, the max frame rate which is usually uh, 30 in my case I usually leave that uh, to default um, and it allows you to change your focus mode which I leave to default and it also gives you these options to either stream video or video audio video only or audio only so you can select whatever you, whatever you prefer um, it also allows you to disable it from notification so it does not show up on your notification tray up here um, it remains hidden uh, if you want to do that you can check this box here um, then lastly what you need is um, this this last option here which which is the option to start streaming the video or start server so go ahead and hit it and it has started streaming as you can see it's now streaming video and this is the this IP address here is what you'd want to note as uh, this is the IP address we'll use to uh, stream the video to our laptops or PCs or other Android devices um, so uh, now is the time to note this down and move on to the PC so after you've noted this down let's go ahead over to the PC I'll just zoom out so you can see Okay, there it is. I'll just just okay. Um, so now what you'd want to do is open up any internet browser. In my case, I have Google Chrome and Microsoft Internet Explorer installed, so I'll use Internet Explorer. And now what you'd want to do is go ahead up to your URL bar, which is right there. This is your URL bar uh, with the text in there. And now what you want to do is go ahead and type in the IP address that you've just noted down. In my case, it is HTTP colon slash slash. Um, let's see that again. 
it is what is it what is it? it's http colon slash slash ten dot zero dot two dot thirty six so and hit enter after you've typed it in and this is what you should get if you've done everything right oh before i get any further i would like to tell you guys that uh, for this to work um, both your uh, Android device and your um, laptop or PC should be connected to the same Wi-Fi network for this to work. Uh, if it's not, it won't work for you guys. If, you're, if your phone's connected over uh, your data package or your um, data bundle, whatever you want, your, uh, like your carrier network, then it won't work. Um, what you need to do is connect your phone via your Wi-Fi and connect your PC to the same Wi-Fi for this to work. So I'll just zoom out and show you. Now this gives you a list of options that you can choose from. Um, usually, if you want to view your um, whatever your phone is streaming right now, what you, what I usually do is I go ahead and hit the third one there. It uses JavaScript in the browser to uh, play the video. You can also you open up the remote control panel from the second option here. Uh, but to show you the video streaming, I'll just open up the third one. So click that, and it load up a page. Uh, using JavaScript and and there you can see um, it is streaming the live uh, content from my oh god I hit the back button I think so I'll just refresh this page on my PC and as you can see as I move my phone around this is my laptop and it's showing whatever I'm doing on my phone now, as you can see. So, there you can see it's streaming whatever I'm doing on my laptop. Um, now, you can also open up your control panel. And it will give you options to turn on and off the LED uh, by doing this. So, it will basically turn on and off your flash on your camera. So if you want to hit it, it turns on your flash as you can see. And if I hit the turn off LED, it will turn it off as you can see. And I'm not doing it from the phone. I'm doing it all through my PC. So it also allows you to autofocus, cancel autofocus, take pictures uh, instantaneously. And it also allows you to, uh, to record your sound that's streaming in from your phone into your... Uh, into your PC so, so these are some of the options that it allows you to do now the cool thing is that even if you hit the back button on your phone uh, even if you're on your main home screen and you turn off your phone it'll still continue to stream as you can see there it'll, it's still streaming video you can see the picture moving which is my phone moving and even when your phone is in your, your screen is off uh, it seems like it's just in sleep mode right now, but what it's actually doing is streaming live video to my PC. So this is a clever way if you want to basically use it, your phone as a CCTV camera or spy camera. As you can see, it's doing a brilliant job there. So I would, I thought I'd just share, share this video with you guys, showing you this app. Uh, it's a really nice app which you can use to spy on your friends. I wouldn't recommend it though, but just showing you what it, what this app is capable of. Um, so thanks guys for watching and this is the ending call. Peace out.